Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. So normally when I do my spend a day with me vlogs, I do start filming like in the morning, um, but I'm actually starting this vlog in the afternoon. I think it's like half two sort of thing. Um, I've just got into town. I was working this morning and it was quite stressful. Um, our work system like that we use on the laptop was just really slow and playing up and I was having issues with it. So yeah, it was a little bit stressful. Um, but yeah, after work, I just kind of got ready and just come out into town for a bit. Just gonna go look in some charity shops and I'm gonna go to Waterstones, might grab a coffee. Um, nothing particularly too exciting, but I just kind of wanted to get out of the house for the last few days I haven't felt very well I've had really bad like sinusy headaches and earache and yeah it's just not been very nice I don't know why my sinuses are flared up I mean you can still see like my cheeks are quite red and a little bit inflamed and stuff but yeah I just I can't just sit around like feeling sorry for myself so I've kind of dragged myself out um so yeah but yeah it's just been uh it's been a weird few days, just feel like I haven't really done much and I've just been kind of moping about and I don't like being like that, so anyhow, I'm out and about. So you can come with me. First thing I'm going to do is walk down there to um, a couple of charity shops, so uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, oh, there's my mate there. How are you doing? <laughs> I always have him in vlogs if I'm down this end. Okay. <laughs> oh, it makes me smile anyway. Alright, so let's start with Bernardo's and then we'll go down there to the British Heart Foundation charity shop. In we go. Let me adjust my crown and get my day started. <laughs> Love that, that's cool. So let me show you what I got quickly. This was a fiver. It's brand new, which I think it's brand new. It looks brand new to me. Um, what is it? Series 8 DC, Bane, Catwoman, Nightwing, The Riddler and Robin. All different figures, look. Hero World figures. So yeah, Funko. Pop that on eBay. Hopefully that'll do well. Also, I got some coloured combs for like 20p each. And this is a really, really good bargain. COVID tests. Um, I paid five pound for all these. So yeah, that's a real good bargain for all this. That would have cost me a lot more in like savers or boots or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll just keep those in the cupboard. They're always handy to have. And they're up till November. So they're in date and everything. Right, just gonna have a little look in the British Heart Foundation charity shop. Doll's house in the window there. I like looking at the old fashioned looking doll's houses. Right, so I've just come in Primark and I found this t-shirt. How cute is this? Can't really see it in this light very well, but it's like a real baby pink and it says love, 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 which is uh, perfect because it's of course Valentine's Day very soon and it's only a fiver, um, which is great. So yeah, I wanted a kind of Valentine's theme top or something to wear. So this is really cute. <laughs> I like this, look, it says it's okay to not be perfect all the time, to have bad days, amazing days, to choose what is best for you, to be yourself. Very nice. And also another good word here, positivity. 
Okay, so got some t-shirts in Primark. I'll show you when I get home. I uh, didn't have enough time to try them on or anything, so I've got them and I've kept the receipts, so if they don't fit, I'll just take them back. Now, I'm gonna be heading into Waterstones, and for a change, I'm not buying books, <laughs> which is a miracle, um, but I wanna get some uh, minifigures, Lego minifigures for me and Nathan. And I was going to go to Sainsbury's to get them, and then I thought, well, that's stupid. Because if I come into... That's stupid. If I come into Waterstones, obviously I get um, points, because they sell minifigures. So I might as well get Waterstones points. And then obviously, you know, I can save them up, and they go towards a free book. So, or money towards a book. So, anyhow, I'm just going to head into Waterstones now, and not look at the books, and just get some, uh, <laughs> some minifigures. When I had a look in it, well, that door stiff, the other day, they had some Muppets ones as well. <laughs> so we will see. I'm not buying any books. Nope, walk away. Walk away. Oh, they're calling who for one? Hmm. Anyway, no, no, no books, no books. Cheers, thank you very much. Right, I'm just putting my phone there a second. Um, so I've got some minifigures. I'm not opening them now, but I'll show you ones I got. I got two of the uh, Series 24 ones and two Muppets. Yay! So, yeah, I'm going to be doing those in uh, shorts, YouTube shorts videos, because I'm finding when I do the shorts with Lego in, they get more views than videos that I like spent ages working on. Like a minute video of just me opening a, you know, pack of minifigures from Lego gets like, I don't know, so many more views than like a long video I've worked ages on. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do more shorts and I just, you know, I really enjoy doing all the Lego stuff as well, so it's all good. Um, anyway, I was going to go grab a, oh, there's a pigeon right under there, hold on. Oh, he's done a runner, there he is. <laughs> Hello. I see you. Do you want to be on the vlog? Come on, I've got really brave with my, my pigeon phobia. He's walking away. He's walking away. But yeah, I was going to go get a coffee in Starbucks, but apparently they're having some issues with their machines and stuff, so no coffee for me today. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to head to Sainsbury's now. And uh, so I'm just making sure I'm not left off thing there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to head to Sainsbury's now. I've got to get smoky ham. I've got to get smoky cheddar. Uh, <laughs> just basically everything smoky. I don't think my mum wanted any eggs. I might have to give her a quick call in a minute, see if she did. Um, and there's something else. Oh, I need milk as well. So yeah, all the, uh, all the exciting stuff. <laughs> Oh, be careful over there that I don't slip over. Okay, so I think I'm in the right aisle. Yeah, meat free. There we go. Smoky ham. Or vegan, vegetarian ham. Where are you? Where are you? Corn stuff. Here we go. Um, I'm probably missing it. Oh, hold on. Right, so vegetarian ham. No, I like the smoky one. I don't like that one. No, no, I do prefer the smoky one, but they've got no smoky, um, so I'm just going to get the vegetarian one. I mean, it's it's not horrible, I just like the other one better, but it is what it is. I'm going to get the um, Richmond meat-free sausages as well. These are really nice. Sausage and mash, what a nice dinner. Right, okay, uh, I need cheese now. Take me to the cheese aisle. Right, is it this way or that way? I can never remember. Nope. Might be around here. Where are you, cheese? Cheese. Ah, oh, there we go, cheese. Aisle 26. I always get, like, mixed up where I'm going. Right, I need the smoky cheddar. Where are you, smoky cheddar? No. No. Ah, here we go. Smoky. It's all about the smoky, baby. Okay, so just walking home now. I thought I was never going to get out of Sainsbury's. Oh, oh my God. I was getting so like anxious and stressy, but somehow I kept it together. <laughs> there were these two young guys and they were having issues with their app or something, vouchers. I don't know. They were just literally holding up the whole queue. 
and uh, yeah, it was just really annoying. And the staff member who was serving wasn't really handling it very well. <laughs> she didn't have a clue what to do. And anyway, it was quite stressful. <sighs> so anyway, that's done. I'm just wandering back home now. But yeah, it's been nice to get out and about. Stretch my legs a little bit. Now I'm going to have something to eat when I get in. And uh, I don't know what to do after that. I need to do some filming. Um, but I need to charge my phone. So yeah, I think I might have something to eat. Put my phone on charge for a bit. Because I film on my phone. So yeah, I'll do that. Maybe, I don't know. Me and Nathan can watch some... YouTube videos or something while my phone's charging. I've got to film my uh, January reading wrap up video and book haul in the same like video. So I want to get that done today. Normally I put my reading wrap up video out like the first couple of days of the month, but I just didn't get round to it. So it's all good as long as it gets done. Um, so yeah, I want to do some filming. As so me and Nathan might watch some YouTube videos while my phone charges. I'm gonna have something to eat. Um and yeah, I don't know. Tonight we uh are gonna do some Lego activities. <laughs> me and Nathan have got super obsessed with our Lego. I think you can probably tell if you've been watching the videos recently. Um we're gonna do uh some Lego sorting. So we're gonna go through Ow, just banged my leg with my bag. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do some like Lego sorting of the different colours and stuff. Like put all the red bricks in this box, the red uh, green ones in that box, that kind of thing. So yeah, some Lego sorting of bricks. Uh, which I actually find quite relaxing and therapeutic to do. So that'll be nice. Um, and then we're going to go on Bricklink. I think it's called Bricklink, the website. Um, and just do like a little wish list on there. Of different minifigures we both want so that'd be quite fun looking for all the series and just kind of clicking the ones that we actually like from the series so yeah obviously you can get the bags but you don't know who you're gonna get uh, well I suppose some people can because they feel around the bags but I don't have to do all that I just I just grab a bag you know but uh, yeah on this website you can actually buy and on eBay individual uh, minifigures and stuff so we're going to do the minifigure thing do some lego bricks sorting so that'd be nice and then we've got um the proof is out there to watch which uh, i love so does nathan it's all like uh, cryptids and ufos and ghosts and all different things it's a really good show it's on it's on history channel so yeah watch a bit of that as well and obviously i'm going to be doing some reading today it'd be great to get my book finished um, which I'll show you my book in a bit and tell you a little bit about that. So, yeah. Right, so we just opened the minifigures packs. I actually filmed uh, a couple of shorts, so um, you can see the YouTube shorts of me opening them. But I'll just show you the little leaflet that you get inside this Muppets one because it's super cute. Oh, he said, I love the Muppets when I was a kid, even though I was scared of these two. I can't remember their names, but the two little old men used to terrify me. Um, but yeah, let me show you which ones we got from the Muppets and also from um, series 24. I'll show you the ones we got. Right, so they've already gone on my bookcase. So we've got Animal, which is one of the popular ones, actually. So it's quite a good one to get. I really wanted Miss Piggy, but I didn't get the one. And also, um, this is from the uh, series 24. This is the girl, little girl on the rocking horse, which is quite cool. Look at that. <laughs> She's so cute. So yeah, we've got those two from there. And we also got the Swedish chef. I still can't remember what he says. Hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. And the little rescue animal man. With his little koala bear. He's here to rescue. So yeah, these are the two. So yeah, the two Muppets and those are from series 24. So yeah, quite happy with these. Very good. Lego, Lego, Lego. Okay, so I'm just going to try on my t-shirts that I've got, see if they fit and if they look alright. I have uh, kept the receipt as well if they don't fit. <laughs> okay, so I like this one. I love the design on it. The trees and the mountains and stuff. And I like that it says take a hike. <laughs> take a hike. 
Yep, this one's good as well. I like the length. Nice fit. Very 60s vibe. I like it. By the way, I'm really red in the face. I've got to go and turn off the central heating. It's way too hot. When it's cold, it's lovely having that like heating on around the house. And then all of a sudden, it just gets really, really hot. So I'm going to go um, turn that off in a minute. Okay, so I just tried this one on. It does fit. The length is fine and everything. Love the design still. The only thing I don't like about it and the reason I'm going to take it back um, is because it's really thin thick it's made with like special recycled material or something and it just feels weird on my skin I'm very funny in particular about certain materials on my skin and stuff but I just yeah I think in the summer this is going to feel like just too hot um and it's a t-shirt so yeah it's going to go back I think this was yeah six quid so I'll get me uh my six quid back on that one okay so this is the love 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 Love, love, love t-shirt. This I'm going to wear on Valentine's Day. It's perfect in the theme of romance and love. <laughs> but yeah, it fits cool. Nice and baggy. Not too long, not too short. Um, yeah, it's all good. Okay, so it's now time for the bookish part of this vlog. You know that I'm a bookworm. I'm always going to talk about books at some point in my vlogs. Um, so yeah, while my phone was charging, I have managed to finish my book that I was reading. And it's Louise Candlish, The Only Suspect. Um, this is signed by the author. Copy, by the way. Hold on, let me just show you that. Oh, where is it? No, missed it. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, there's her signature. Now I've read quite a few Louise Candlish books and she's a really, really, really good author. Um, if you like your thrillers, like seriously, check her books out. This one here, I'm going to give a four stars to on Goodreads. Um, I'm not going to give it a five because I did find it a bit predictable. Like even the twists and turns I could kind of see happening. And I don't know if that's because I've read so many of her books that I'm used to her style or just because I'm really clever. I don't know. But <laughs> I just, yeah. I mean, if you've not read anything by her before, um, then I don't think you'd see those certain twists coming, but because I have maybe, I don't know, but I still really enjoyed it. It was quite gripping and exciting and I did appreciate the twists. They were good. Um, so it says, uh, there's the obvious story, then there's the truth. Alex lives a comfortable life with his wife, Beth, in the leafy suburb of Silvervale. Fine, so he's not the most sociable guy on the street. He prefers to keep himself to himself, but he's a good husband and easygoing neighbour. That's until Beth announces the creation of a nature trail on a local site that's been disused for decades. And suddenly Alex is a changed man. Now he's always watching, questioning and struggling to hide his dread. As the landscapers get to work, a secret threatens to surface from years ago, back in Alex's 20s, when he got entangled with a seductive young woman called Marina, who threw both their lives into turmoil, and who sparked a police hunt for a murder suspect that was never quite what it seemed, and it still isn't. So, it is a really good thriller. As I say, four stars I'm going to give it on Goodreads. I better update my Goodreads in a minute. By the way, if you are a bookworm and you're on the Goodreads app, please come and follow me. The link's down below to that, as are all the links to my social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Goodreads, as I say. So, TikTok, all down below. So, come and follow me and, you know, come say hi to me on the socials. So, um, this is the book I've literally just started. I've literally just read like one page, like seriously. Um, but yeah, this is by Laura Purcell. It's called The Whispering Muse. It says Obsession, Superstition, Tragedy. And once again, this is a signed edition. I like getting the signed editions because they do sell better on eBay. There it is. Signature from Laura Purcell. What a nice first name. Ha ha ha. No. Um, but yeah, I've read, once again, I've read uh, another author. I've read quite a lot of her books, if not all, actually. Um, I really love The Silent Companions. That was, without doubt, my favourite. But I also really love The Shape of Darkness as well. Um, but yeah, really excited for this one. It's supposed to be about this theatre and... Hold on, where is it? It's in London, I think. Yeah, Mercury Theatre in London's West End. Rumours are circulating of a curse. So there's this actress and she's made a, a pact with this, like, um, tragic muse of Greek mythology. I'm a bit worried about that. So I don't really know much about Greek mythology stuff and all that. So I'm a bit like, I hope I don't struggle with this book. But I'm just going to go into it with an open mind and hope for the best. But yeah, this woman called Jenny, um, she hasn't got much money. So she agrees to go and kind of um, like spy on this actress who's with the curse. And I, I don't know. It does sound a little bit like, mm, is it going to be too much for me? But I'm going to give it a go because as I say, I've really enjoyed the books that I've read from Laura Purcell. I've got high hopes for it and... 
we'll see. So yeah, that is going to be my next read, which, as I said, I've only read like one page, but um, I will be reading at some point um, tonight. So yeah, I look terrible, by the way. Sorry. My skin, honestly, my skin is really bad at the moment. Like, I just feel like I've been really run down recently and stressed and my skin has just got so bad. Like, I'll show you a little bit. I mean, it's not as bad as it was, but I've got two spots there. I literally look like a vampire has come and got me. Yeah, two spots there on my neck. This one is huge. Well, it's gone down a bit, but it was huge and dark red. And it's, oh. so, and I was really paranoid. Every time I went out, I was like, oh, God, everyone's staring at my neck. They probably weren't, but in my mind they were. But then I got another one quite near it. So it looks like vampire bites. Should do a vampire role play. Hmm. <laughs> Use it as my advantage. Um, And then, I don't know if you can see, I've got a blooming... Ah, oh, big spot coming up there. I wasn't sure if it was a cold sore or a spot. I asked Nathan to look and he thinks it is a spot, but I'm not sure. I mean, it, it looks like it's just under the lip, but I did try some lip gloss the other day that I don't usually wear. So whether it was that, I hope not, because I really like that lip gloss. Um, or just that I've been really run down and I don't know, but it's re this one's really painful. It's like throbbing. I'm just going to... Um, put some, I think I had another one coming up around there as well, I'm going to put some pseudo cream on it tonight, so during this vlog you might see me with dabs of white um, pseudo cream on my face, <laughs> I know that pseudo cream is for babies by the way, but I do find it does help my spots, um, like this one here on my neck, not that one, but this one, I, actually no I did put it on, anyway, yeah I put cream on both of them, and like the next morning, it kind of gone down a bit, so it does help with the redness and taking the spot down. Um, but yeah, this one's really hurting me. It's like it's like painful. So I don't know if it's a cold or a spot. I think it is a spot. Anyway, but yeah, my skin's just been really not good at the moment. And I don't know. Like when I was younger, I used to be like really like paranoid about my face because of my spots and stuff. Um, and then as I got older, obviously, especially in the last few years where I don't wear that much makeup, if any, uh, my skin's really improved. So I kind of got to a point where I was like, oh, yeah, I've got good skin. Um, people always leave me really lovely comments on my videos saying, oh, you know, your skin's really nice. What do you use? I'm like, nothing. I just literally wash my face and don't wear much makeup. That's my secret. <laughs> and drink lots of water. But like recently, as I say, because all my spots are coming back, it's made me really paranoid again. I feel like I've gone back in time to like being a teenager in college and just being like paranoid about my face. So this is why I miss wearing face masks because when you had a few spots, you could cover it up with a face mask. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so my skin is not good. So um, yeah, rest of the evening, I'm going to do some colouring as well. I'm doing a charity fundraising uh, thing, which is called the 28 Challenge. I have done a previous video on this, so if you want to find out more about it down below, um, yeah, yeah, down below I'll put the link to my um, page and stuff. It's on the Just Giving website, so it's all official. It doesn't go to me, it goes to Just Giving to the actual charity. And the charity is Hearing, Hearing Dogs for the Deaf. Amazing charity. They do some amazing work. And basically, um, a 28 challenge, you could do anything you want involve the number 28 so for example some people are making 28 cupcakes or uh, I don't know knitting 28 jumpers or, or what have you you know um, I was going to go with the book themed 28 challenge but I thought reading 28 books in a month might be too much pressure and I just didn't think I'd do it so what I've chose to do instead is colouring um, so I'm doing 28 colouring pictures in 28 days now I haven't got to do one a day I can do one as long as I get to the 28th you know, day and I've done all 28, that's fine. Um, so yeah, tonight I'm going to sit and do some colouring while we watch uh, The Proof Is Out here, because uh, colouring is quite relaxing anyway, so chilling, watching TV, colouring, I think that's quite a, quite a nice thing to do. And obviously I'm, I'm doing my challenge, so it's all good for that. Um, I'm really sad, I haven't got around to doing any filming again. I really wanted to come back and like, you know, sit and do some videos, but I just... I don't know, I just got <laughs> some excuses, excuses. But no, I just got really into my book. I really wanted to get that done, which I have. Um, and then I was chatting with my mum. I went downstairs and was chatting to her. And then obviously me and Nathan was watching some YouTube videos. I did film the little um, shorts videos with the minifigures and stuff. But like, it's, I need to do a smart channel videos. I'm so, so behind with my schedule of filming on that. Um, I think I've got like one spare video and that's that, but tomorrow morning I've got the house to myself and I'm really going to focus on filming 
you know, I'm not going to sit there and just watch Married at First Sight one after another. I'm just going to try and get on with some... Well, maybe I'll watch one episode, that's all. <laughs> just one episode uh, while I have my breakfast and then I'm just going to kind of just get on with some filming. If I could get a good few done, like bulk filming, I'd be so happy. Um, and I say with a house myself, hopefully it'll be quiet outside. Um, we've had workmen in the streets, so that's been quite annoying trying to film anyway because they're so noisy out there. Um, and also the, we've got two dogs that are, are barking all the time that live next door. So it's always noise, you know, and, and to film ASMR videos, you, you need quiet time. And I know people say, oh, you should film at night. Most ASMR creators film at night. But when it gets the evening, I'm either tired or I just want to chill with Nathan and, and or do my own thing or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to sit and start tapping and whispering. Um, but it's it's just so difficult to get quiet time. But anyway, so I didn't get any filming done. I'm very angry with myself, <laughs> but it is what it is. And I will I will film in the morning, 100%, not even 90%. I'm just going to make myself film in the morning. Um, but yeah, so I'm yeah, a bit peed off about that. I'm looking at the big bowl of washing because I've got to go and put that all away now, which I'm not looking forward to. Putting washing away is one of the most boringest chores ever um tomorrow should be nice though um obviously I do some filming in the morning then at lunchtime me and nathan are going to go to lee leon c we're going to do some charity shopping nathan's not really a shopper like i am the shoppy you know shopping person in the relationship um and i was going to say a typical girl but then again some guys like shopping as well so i'm not going to go there with all the gender stuff because you know some men do enjoy shopping but I think if I was to put a bet on, if I was a gambling person, which I am, I still think women enjoy shopping more. But anyway, <laughs> but Nathan's never really been one to like go shopping with me or anything. He doesn't like it. And I mean, he has been shopping with me, but he just is not really like he gets bored. And then I feel awkward because I know he's bored. But he's, he's quite cool when it comes to charity shopping now and again. Like he won't go all the time like I do, but he'll go every few months. He'll come with me. And the joke of it is, when I go shopping with him, like looking for stuff at eBay, um, he, he finds some good bargains. He's like, look, look at look at this, what's this? I'm like, oh, well done. So he is good. He sniffs out the bargains like a hound. <laughs> I've just compared my fiancé to a dog. You know what I mean? But, yeah, so we're going to be going charity shopping in Lee. There's loads of charity shops there. And also we are looking for Lego. I think possibly that could be another reason why he's gone, oh, yeah, I'll come with you. Um, because there's so many different charity shops there and there's actually a, like a children's uh, charity shop there. I can't remember what one, it, I think it might be called the Children's Society. I can't remember, but there's loads of toys in that one. So I'm hoping, hoping that we will find some Lego either for him, for me, or to, you know, sell on eBay or whatever. Obviously I'm always looking for clothes to sell, books to sell, stuff like that. So yeah, me and Nathan are going to be going charity shopping tomorrow and I'm, I'm excited I'm not going to be vlogging it I'm not going to vlog tomorrow I just literally want it just to be me and Nathan going out without me filming stuff you know um but yeah no I'm looking forward to that tomorrow that'd be that'd be good and, and as I say I haven't really been well um recently so I've just kind of been staying in didn't really go out the weekend just feeling sorry for myself in a lot of pain and just uncomfortable and I suppose I just want this week to be a bit better I want to be able to you know, get out, go shopping and do a bit more stuff. So, uh, yeah, had an email before uh, from Illumicrate. Finally, uh, my January box has been posted out. Uh, I don't know. Basically, there's this um, monthly subscription thing called Illumicrate. It's a book themed subscription and it's really popular. You, honestly, you look on YouTube at people doing these unboxings and stuff and like there's so many people like who do them. And I was always jealous of people getting these boxes. So I joined this waiting list and it literally took months and months and months for me to get accepted and say, yeah, you can now, you know, have your subscription box because it's that popular. Right. And my December box did come before Christmas. I'll give them that. Um, I don't know. I wasn't that impressed with it, if I'm honest. I did end up selling most of it on eBay, <laughs> which a lot of people do. A lot of people get these boxes because they have exclusive books in, normally signed, sprayed edges kind of thing, um, and other little bookish gifts. So they sell a lot of the stuff on eBay. So, you know, that was always my plan with the Illumicrate um, boxes, to either keep stuff that I actually like myself, and the books, obviously, I get to read, or keep, you know, if I really like, like, if I really read a book from the Illumicrate box and really loved it, then clearly I'm going to keep it. If I'm not that keen on it, then I'd sell it. 
But yeah, like the uh, December box did turn up before Christmas, which I was really happy about. But it, it you know, the book was just not good. I'm sorry. Like I know a lot of people have also said this. The book was. I honestly can't even remember what it was called. It was like some sci-fi space drama. I, I don't know. I just, I tried, I really tried with it and I just couldn't get into it. So I DNF'd it. Um, but yeah, I had an email from Aluma Crate saying it's it's been, de um, sorry, it's been posted off. So I've got like a tracking uh, code. So I'm going to look tonight, give it a few hours to kind of register and then see when that's going to be delivered. But I don't know, like I'm... I'm not going to stop the subscription because I really am excited for like certain months. For example, October, Halloween themed book and Halloween themed goodies, book related. That's what I'm really excited about. And, you know, stuff like that. And I know there's going to be like a pirate thing and stuff. So each month is a different theme, basically. But anyhow, so yeah, I don't know. The only thing I'm not happy about is this, this service. Like, yes, it's good. Like you do get your box. But I mean, it's now February and I have not got january's yet so i'm like mm, surely they should have sent it out like into anyway but apparently this is a common thing everyone has to go through the same thing i'm just being a moaner but like i don't know like what happens like am i always gonna have like a, like a month behind so when it gets to february you know like so i don't know when it gets to um august will i just be getting july's and you know what i mean i don't know but anyway i will get it eventually Right, I'm going to put that washing away now because I'm just sitting looking at a big old washing bowl and I haven't put it away. So I'm going to do that now. And um, yeah, then I think it's going to be some dinner, dinner time. Yeah, I'm going to have something to eat and also some Lego sorting. So yeah. Okay, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to laugh at me. <laughs> okay, you can laugh at me. Nathan laughed at me, so it's all good. Look at this pseudocreme on there. I should have put some on my neck, but anyway, but yeah, it's on. Um, so I'm just about to do some dinner. I have got Weetabix. So I just want a little spoon. Now I know some people have Weetabix with, um, I look so ridiculous, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> some people have Weetabix with cold milk. Some people have it with hot. I like it hot because it goes all sort of soft and mushy. Mushy, mushy. Um, and then I just add some sweeteners. I don't know if I need three. I'll try two first. If not, I'll add three. It's all right. It's only sweet now. It's not sugar. Um, and I know people are going to comment, it's not good for you. I know, but it's better than sugar for me. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe sugar's better. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But I'm having sweeteners with it. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm doing something better than having sugar. All right, I'm just going to give that a little go and see if I need any more. Actually, that's sweet. It don't need any more in it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Little, that can go back. So, yeah. I'm going to have my Weetabix. Um, let me get a drink. Oh, no, I've got a drink in there. Have my Weetabix, and then I think we're going to be starting the um, Lego sorting, which I'll show you a bit. So, um, yeah, carry on watching. <laughs> so, we're just going to do some Lego sorting, aren't we? Are you excited? Very. Because it's all mine. Are you enjoying being next to me doing some couples hobby? Yes, I am. <laughs> it sounds like I'm paying you to say that. You are. So, <laughs> I'm not sure. So, what is the plan of action? Tell me. There's Lego in that box. Lots and lots of Lego. And there's not much Lego in these pots. But you're about to remedy that with me. Yes. We're colour coding it. So, we've got green bits going to go in there. What's that? What a brown, brown grey, black and white, white, yeah? Yes. Now, is that all sorts of bits and shapes and yeah, sizes? Yeah, just, just until colour. I get more pots, Pots. I'm going to just do it by colour. Okay. So, how long do you reckon this is going to take? Three hours? or yeah, about half hour. Half hour? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Right, well, we'll update you in a bit. Okay, so it was about half an hour or so. And we are done. So we've got white bits in here, um, black in here, green in here, brown and kind of goldy colour. And in this one, we've got the greys, light and dark grey. And in this little bag, we've got these uh, like see-through blue. I love these. These are going to be like water scenes for Nathan's... Um, 
Are you doing this for your pirate scene? Anywhere where there's water. Yeah, anywhere where there's water is going to be using the blue. I love that. I think that's my favourite. So, talking about scenes. Oh, actually, these are the little accessories as well. So, yeah, basically, I've said this in various vlogs, but obviously, if you haven't watched them, you'll know. But we're doing, like, Lego, theme, like Lego scenes with different themes. Um, I'm doing a city centre kind of thing with different shops and a road and people like walking around like the minifigures. Uh, I've also got a beach theme and a kind of forest with a cabin in the woods and a camper van. Uh, what's my other one? A city. City, beach theme. The city's camping outdoor. Camping outdoor, yeah. Sure, oh, the, the park. park. Yeah, there's also, I've got a park with like a um, theme park in a park, like a fair kind of vibe. Nathan's doing anything to do with knights, um, castles, uh, castles, knights, pirates, pirates like old school pirates, and uh, Star Wars, that kind of vibe. Egypt maybe as well. Yeah. With all but yeah, we've got all these cute little accessories here. Like there's a little lantern there. There's some jewels that the pirates are going to have in their treasure chest. Um, I really love these that he got. They're like little, um, there's a couple, well, there's a few of them, but you got the little chains. I said I'd have to chain him up to me. <laughs> got some gold bars there. Oh, just dropped my gold. There we go. Don't think it's worth that much. But this is what I think is super cute. Look at that little treasure map, um, which is going to be perfect for his, um, pirate scene. Look at that. It's really cool. And we've got other little bits and pieces here, the treasure chest and... Um, I think this is a cannon, I think. Uh, some little barrels and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, talking about Lego, I'm just going to bring the camera over here and show you what we did last night. Well, I say we, Nathan ended up taking over because I could not do it. I have been able to make a Lego Friends one on my own pretty much, so I'm happy with that. This one I just found too difficult. I think it's because there's so many little fiddly bits and I, I struggle with fiddly bits. <laughs> but as you can see, what it is, it's like a coffee cart, coffee, tea, hot chocolates. They can have what they want. Um, super, super cute. See the little sign there and this side showing you what's inside that you can get. And there's some little mugs there. And inside, the lid does come off, but I'm not going to take it off now. But there's two coffee machines, which are really, really cute. Love those. Um, where's my barista? There we go. I've got my barista. Oh, <laughs> barista's fell over. He's tired. His little apron there. Very cool. Facial hair as well. Um, so this set, yeah, come with the barista and the girl on the bike. Liking her hair. It's like a kind of lilac-y colour. So, yeah, she's got a mobile phone as well on the socials. I think they're a couple, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> a little seating area here as well with the umbrella. Keep knocking everything over, it's ridiculous. Um, and these two didn't come with a set, I just bought them down because um, I was playing with them, is the only true option that I'm going to tell you. Um, got my little librarian there and her friend who's got his little newspaper and his magnifying glass. So yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of Lego and we've still got more to do, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I keep looking at it on camera, I can't take myself seriously. Anyway, I just hope it helps, I think it goes down a bit. It really hurts, I know. Anyhow, um, so the time is now, is it 20 to 11? Yes. Oh, jeez. 20 to 11. Um, yeah, we've done all the Lego stuff, and I don't know what I've been doing in the last hour. I don't know. Just having some chats and looking on my social media and stuff. Um, getting into rows with people on social media. <laughs> I might do a separate vlog about this, like rant, or I might not, I don't know, because no doubt I'll offend people, but it's really quick, just to say about Sam Smith, he was, um, I think it was the Grammys, I don't know, I don't really keep up to date with all these award shows, I think it was it's some music award show, whatever, Sam Smith, who I'm a big fan of, I love his music, I've done since he kind of, you know, come on the scene, and yeah, he's got a song out called Unholy, and it's a brilliant, brilliant song, like literally, first time I heard it, I was like, yeah, it's amazing, and the title is Unholy, all right? So when he's performing on this show, he's dressed up as as, as as the devil and he's got all these sexy dancers dressed up as devils. And like, it's literally just costume, right? It goes with the title of the song, you know, and it's not the first singer to be provocative and, you know, shock. 
I mean, look at some of the stuff, I'm not going to say it, but some of the stuff that the Beatles would say uh, back in the day um, was a big shock thing and everyone went mad and started, like, you know, throwing their records away and um, obviously, oh, God, Madonna, the thing she's done over the years, Boy George dressing up and, like, all different things over the years that were seen at the time as, like, shock. This is no different. It's just in this day and age shock, you know? Um Sam Smith is not a devil worshipper. Well, I don't think he is. But even if he is, up to him. But it, it clearly is not. Um, he's just doing this as a show. And anyway, I just... And as Nathan said, what about... What was his name? Tenacious D. Tenacious D. Tribute. Tribute. Dressed up as the devil in the video. Was Jack Black dressed up or was, no, was the yeah, other one? Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl was dressed up. So what, Dave Grohl's a devil worshipper as well? Like, these people are just... Anyway, so there's this person on my Facebook. I'm not going to say they are, but I assume they're a viewer. Um... And I was just scrolling on Facebook and I just, I just, it really irritated me. It was like, started doing all these like, you know, Satan, um, Satan and Hollywood is full of Satan. It's like, stop it. It's just someone performing. Get over yourself. Stop being so weird. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But, you know, you can't be saying he's a, a Satan and all that. It's just ridiculous. It's kind of like, you know, the lot that are into, I won't go into it anyway. But, you know, like the cults and that, that they get like, there's a certain American cult. Well, I think it's worldwide. It's a certain letter. Anyway, I won't go into that. But they're just... Oh, it's just weird. Like, they're just warped. Their minds are warped about things. But anyway... So... <laughs> I was just getting into a few rows on Facebook. You know, it is. Also, I've been updating all my Goodreads and stuff. Um, with my current book and all that. So, yeah. I don't know. Meh. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is get on with my book... Really excited to kind of get into this. I hope it's not going to be too much for me and I'm actually going to understand it. Um, Nathan has been very kindly explaining a bit more about a muse because I didn't... Like, the only muse I knew were the band um, <laughs> because this book has got like a Greek mythology muse and I was like, what? I don't understand. So it's kind of explained it to me a bit and I kind of get it. So I hope this is going to be good. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have a little read. We were going to watch The Proof Is Out here, there, somewhere. Um, but normally it's like 20 minutes episodes or something, but now they've made it an hour long one. Um, I think cause we were longer doing the Lego and blah, blah, blah. I think we just didn't get round to it. So we're going to watch that tomorrow night instead, which is fine because it will give us something to look forward to, to watch tomorrow. Even though you've got your Oak Island show that I don't know. I look up now and again, if they find something. Oh, a little bit of wind there. Sorry. Um, so yeah, we didn't watch that tonight, but we'll watch it tomorrow. So yeah, just going to read, chill, um, I've got Pepsi Max and a bottle of water. So I'm going to have a little drink is. And that's that. So thank you for watching. Sorry it's been a bit random, this vlog. Um, and I didn't start it too late, but there we go. I'm um, not going to be vlogging tomorrow, as I say. But I'll try and vlog on either Thursday or Friday. So, yeah. Thank you for watching my channel. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out Mixlaura 123 ASMR. My other channel. Links down below. As all the links to my social media. Um, my nose is getting really blocked up again. Can you hear it? Oh, it's gone okay. nasal. Really, really nicely. Ah, I need to do my sinus. Like, spray. no, I'm not using the spray. You know, I used that spray for the last few days and it seemed to make it worse. I don't know yeah, how. Don't use it. So I'm not going to use it. Yeah, I'm just going to steam. And I've got my um, Vicks Vapo, so I just sniff that because it's like menthol. I just sit there and whew, inhale the, uh, the Vicks Vapo. <sighs> Normally I rub a little bit under my nose as well, just to kind of get it up there. There we go. Look at me. I look all right. Weirdo. Shiny nose. And a white dollop of cream on my mouth. <laughs> Do I look attractive? Yeah, me. I know. Oh, God. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.